on this episode of Bass to Billfish. You got him. Damn, this thing fights hard. Peter Miller is on a fishing mission with his guest, Captain Ozzie Fisher. Uh-oh, he's got there it. There we go, he's loaded. With all of Ozzie's secret locations at their fingertips. The plan is to handline a Goliath grouper. These two professionals will look to net. I think you got him, Peter. Fight. Nice! And pull in everything captivating in Captiva. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah! <laughs> Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Oh yeah. yes! With incredible fishing around every corner. Yes, set it! This is truly an angler's paradise. <laughs> Join Peter Miller as he travels the state in search of big fish and shares his adventures with guests from around the globe. Oh my God. <laughs> from freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades. Oh, yeah. Join him for a fishing experience like no other. Yeah. <laughs> this is Florida's Baskerville Fish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Ozzy, you've been taking me fishing for all these years down here at Captiva. Show me the rope, snook, redfish, goliaths. For this episode of Bass to Bill Fish, I'm actually fishing with one of my favorite guides and good friend, Ozzy Fisher. And he's based out of the South Seas Island Resort. I want to take you out. I want to treat you to a day out on the water because you're always taking everybody out making dreams come true. Here's the funny part. Ozzy is from the area. He's from Southwest Florida. I'm from Miami. I'm gonna make your dreams come true. With your numbers, your baits, your rods, and your coordinates. So it was kind of like I was taking him, but he was still kind of taking me. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Done deal. That's true though, right? I mean, yeah, all for I... a living, all you do is take people fishing. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, we all forget why we got into it. It's because we love fishing, you know? I first met Peter when the resort contacted me and uh, we just kind of hit it off. No pressure. No pressure. However, as we say that, we know as we leave this dock, we want to catch more fish than anyone's ever caught in their entire lives for some strange reason. Well, that's a given. You know, you don't get to do that that often, so you kind of cherish it when you get to. Let's head out. Sounds good. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. First thing, as always, we had to get bait. Look at them bombing right there. We see flickering on the surface. That's a sign that we're gonna get some live chummers. I think it's a mixture of uh, shiners and thread fins, the way it looks like. When you're fishing in this area, there's a whole host of baits you need, so we went out to procure all of that. A lot of them are pilchards. Live chum with us. Now, Ozzy, when he takes his guests out fishing, he's always throwing the net. Now, Ozzy, you know I like making bait. I know too much. Normally, the captain throws the net, so for this particular trip, I was kind of pretending to be captain. I wanted to throw my little net. <laughs> Good job, Peter. I think you got him, Peter. <laughs> but Ozzy is so used to throwing the net, he can't stop himself. He throws the net, and we didn't see all the ladyfish under the actual bait. He must have had 40 ladyfish in the net with the glass minnows. I've never seen so many ladyfish in my entire life. <laughs> Once we had the ladyfish, we're like, well, let's go offshore. We can make this happen. Ozzy, one more, are we good? <laughs> we're good. <You> sure? <laughs> Positive. <laughs> All right, Ozzy, the reason I took you to this ledge is because you've taken me to this ledge, so I knew where it was. <laughs> Peter is a smart man. Always dress, you want to get fish active. You just don't want to throw a bait in there. You don't want to kind of build it. We should start live chumming. Okay. Let's get everything excited. We start building surface activity. Now to make it rain. We put on topwater lures, skitter walk, crocodile spoons. Oh, that was a big that was bug. A big fish, man. Oh, you got a push behind you. I see him, I see him. Come on, eat it. Oh, you got him! Nice! Coming up, come on, launch, 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 launch! When a barracuda eats... <laughs> Watch out, guys, coming up hot! The first thing they do is rip a ton of line... Oh, wow, sailfish jump! ...and they take to the air. Well, this is fun, Ozzy. Perfect! This was a great way to start. That's the way you release them, man, the best way. Then I hooked up again. Oh, nice! So now I've caught two, maybe three barracudas, and I'm having a blast. We're off to a good start, Ozzy. You're welcome. 
Thank you, Peter. <laughs> but then I thought to myself, wait a second. Ozzy took us to the bait spot and he threw the net. Now I'm catching these barracudas and he's not. Ozzy doesn't want to fish. He just wants to like have other people do the work. So it's basically like he's back in his role as captain. I guess I should catch something, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Uh-oh, 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 he's got There it. we go, he's loaded. I got that bite and I was like, oh, why did I do this? Oh, it's got some shorts. Oh, snap! <laughs> this is so primitive. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by... Visit Florida. Plan your Florida vacation today. NTV, Tire Kingdom, Merchants. That's all you need. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine by Fleer. Go hunting underwater. I'm gonna make your dreams come true. With your numbers, your baits, your rods, and your coordinates. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Done deal. Peter Miller is in Southwest Florida, fishing with his good friend, Captain Ozzy Fisher. I've never seen so many lady fish in my entire life. After loading up on bait and landing several barracuda as a warm up. Oh, nice. Peter gets ready to guide Ozzy to a fight of Goliath proportions. It's time to try for a Goliath grouper and we're gonna put a blue runner on there, drop it down the bottom and hopefully We'll get a little bite. Personally, I've caught a lot of big fish and it's not really something I enjoy. I enjoy putting customers on it. You know, Ozzy, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. You're here for me? He said, Peter, I'm out. I don't need a backbreaker right now. And I said, all right. Ozzy likes to watch me struggle. Peter is more manly than me. That's why I gave him the run. Oh, I'm not manly. I'm just, I just <laughs> like pulling on stuff. And what I like to do also is set the drag really, really tight in the beginning. So when you actually get that bite, you can get them coming a little bit. Once you get them off the wreck, you can back off the drag a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's got there it. There we go, he's loaded. I, gotta, I need more drag. I got that bite and I was like, oh, why did I do this? Come on, Peter. Oh, he's getting in there, Ozzy. He just got in. I gotta oh, get him come on, pull on him. You'll be good. I enjoy the battle. Got him coming. I really like going toe to toe with big fish. It's every fisherman's dream to battle these big beasts. Well, I got the leader. I had a leader. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sea bass. Fought this fish, pumped it up pretty quick. Nice battle. That one's got some shorts. Oh, snap. <laughs> nice. That's a baby, too. How big? 100? Good, I like there, it. There you go. And Ozzy's like, you see, that's why I don't like to wind on him, because he's done it for years and years and years. Here he there goes. goes. Hey, great release. He saw. He just looked at He him. saw these hands. Oh, didn't want any part hand. of it. Do you think we have a better shot at getting a Goliath with a hand line? 100%. One of the unique things that we were going to try was hand lining Goliath grouper. If you ever go down to any of these other countries, they do everything with their hands. It's, it's just way more sensitive and you can pull on them. I've seen a bunch of people do and I always wondered what it would be like. So if we're in a spot right now where you have a lot of Goliath under us. You know, we've caught so many fish so many different ways. We've been talking about doing the hand line, so we decided to try it. Got gloves on, got the rope, we got a bowling knot tied to the shackle. Nice thing is with a rope, you can actually let it rub on the side of the boat, lock your knees down, put your back into the seat here, and, and hopefully get a little leverage. Put on a blue runner, dropped it down to the bottom. <laughs> this is so primitive. And it was like instantaneous. Oh, here we go. Get him, Peter! No, he's not there. There he is. I got the bite, and I started pulling up on this fish. What is this, dude? It's a small fish. And I'm telling you, it must have been 20 seconds. I got a fish on you. What is it? <laughs> you got one. It's not. Look how fast he did that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, he's a twirler. It was remarkable how fast you could get a fish off the bottom with such little effort. I literally barely felt like I even had a fish on there. That fish had no idea what just happened. That was fun, man. That was really cool. Been fishing my whole life, never done that. Here we go. You know what? I want to try one. Yeah? Aren't you supposed to be taking me fishing? I couldn't let Peter outdo me, so I grabbed the hand line. Look at how casual Ozzy is with his feet up on the gunnels. I got this. Look at him. He's like Tom Sawyer sitting on the edge of a dock with a bobber and a worm. He wound up dropping, 
and dropping and dropping, and we kept getting pulled off and pulled off and pulled off. Ozzy, what do you got, man? I got the wreck. Ah, pickles. We never got another fish to the boat. Oswaldo, what is going on here? I'm thinking, I'm supposed to be taking Ozzy fishing, and I caught the kudas, and I caught the big goliath, and then I caught the smaller goliath on the hand line. It's not panning out. I felt bad. As captain, I decided to go back in shore and take Ozzy to one of his favorite spots that he showed me. We got about 15 minutes left of daylight. You think it's worthwhile? You can't catch him if you don't try. That's true. I learned that one from Peter Miller because he never wants to go in. A little snook. Hooks up with a snook. Pretty cool, Oz. Yeah. He's a chunky little snook, huh? He just doesn't know he's small. Being out there in a time not many people on the water, you know, sun setting, you know, it was a nice time. It was a good experience. How nice is this? Right off the resort, sun's going down. Do we just become best friends? That's right. <laughs> Releases that one, hooks up with another snook. Ozzy, what do you got there? A little snook. Snookosaurus? <laughs> I'll call it a snooklet. <laughs> In reality, any snook's good for me. It's my favorite fish. Well, I thank you for taking me fishing. Anytime, man. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. <gasps> Peter, big school of tarpon. And all of a sudden, I got the bite. Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna... on, you're on, you're on. Nice! Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Mercury, number one on the water. Yellowfin. Your legacy. The Florida Keys and Key West come as you are. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by Visit Florida. Well, I got the leader. I had a leader. <laughs> Peter Miller is fishing with Captain Ozzy Fisher in the waters off Captiva Island. Come on, sea bass! <laughs> After a full day catching Goliath grouper. Nah, look how fast you did that! Oh my god! <laughs> they head out from South Seas Island Resort for another adventure on the water. Ozzy, today I'm gonna take you <laughs> to an area that you showed me. I appreciate that. It's the least I could do, Ozzy. You've shown me the way over here in Captiva for a long time. I'm gonna take you to a flat that you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> I took Ozzy to his first spot on my GPS. I was playing captain, but it was still his spot. For here, this is good condition. We got a northeast wind, about 10 to 15. I think we're gonna have a really good day. Good deal. We ran off the beach, and it was time to catch more bait, yes, more bait. Hey, they are right in front of us, huh? Peter offered to throw the net. I was like, go right ahead. If somebody can throw the net and they really want to do it, I'll oblige anytime. Good work, Peter. Thanks, Ozzy. I told you I would take you fishing. Threw the net on the live charmers, got them really good. These are pilchards in front of us. Yeah, I think I got them, Oz. You definitely got them. And then I started throwing the net for the threadfin herring. Peter did good. Good circle. He caught the bait. No complaints. More bait makes Peter a happy fisherman. <gasps> Peter, big school of tarpon. So when we pulled up, we see a lot of jacks, mackerel, and then we see him tarpon. There was three or four of them all came up. See, they come back up. It was almost fish ADD. Everywhere you looked was a tarpon. Wait. See how fast they're going? Yeah, this would be fun to chase him. I'm gonna go down the beach. I think we're gonna find some schools of tarpon after seeing this. Okay. So we decided to run the buoys right off Captiva Island, and as we pulled up to this area, I was floored. Oh my God, there's so many guys. I see them. They're on the glass minnows. There had to have been hundreds of tarpon just milling, and we were right in the middle of them. Nice. That's right in his face. What are the chances we'll get a bite here? Pretty good. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I got the bite. Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on! Nice! And this tarpon takes off and goes into the air, and I bow to it, I'm like, wow! 
Oh, Ozzy. Oh, he came off. He, came off. <laughs> he jumped off, and I was like, perfect. Putting a tarp in the air, getting a couple good jumps, I'm good. I don't need to battle it for an hour. That was awesome. Woo! I like fishing. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. You got him, Pete. <laughs> Whoa, Moses. <laughs> Dude. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty. FWC. Florida is the fishing capital of the world. Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, serving Florida's hospitality industry. Costa, see what's out there. Peter Miller has had an incredible time fishing with his good friend, Captain Ozzie Fisher. Oh yeah, you're on, you're on, you're on. Nice! After jumping a nice tarpon off the beach. Oh, it came off, it came off. <laughs> they head out in search of more Southwest Florida fishing fun. Oh, it's a triple tail right at that marker. Oh, I see him, Pete. All right, we'll slow down and we'll get him. So we decided to run the buoys right off Captiva Island, actually right outside of South Seas Island Resort, to look for triple tail. Saw a little triple tail going by on this buoy. Ozzy flipped at a small pilchard. There he is. Came around the other side. There's two of them. It had a second one with it, so there was a big one and a small one. You're Coming out to eat it. Nice one, eat it. He ate it. There we go. Good one, Oz. You know, me being a good charter captain, I pulled the little one out for, for him so he could catch the big one. Whoa, dude, what a shifter. This little triple tail. That's a pretty good fight. They got three tails. Of course they're going to fight good. It was a nice bonus. I'll take it. You know, this time of year, you always find these on these buoys, you uh -huh. know? The water starts cooling off. Cool fish, dude. Really cool. But the big one was eluding us. We started throwing everything we had in the box. We were throwing little sardines, we were throwing threadfin, we were throwing pilchards. Dude, that is a big freaking... He's deep, deep, deep. He's a deep dish pizza. And then we thought, is it worth a wait or no? Oh, yeah, let's try a little, maybe a little split shot. And I put the split shot and the pilchard on, I threw it down there. You got him, Pete! <laughs> split shot Pete, they called me. Damn, this thing fights hard. Nice. I was shocked. You get them up to the surface, and then they take off and they run away like a tuna. He's a lunker. Ozzy. That's a good one. I can't believe how hard they fight, Ozzy. This is like a, a legit battle. This fish happened to be the biggest triple tail I've ever caught. It had to have been 10 pounds. Look at that. Whoa, Moses. <laughs> Peter got a really nice one. You know, 10 pounds is big for a triple tail. I think he said it was his biggest one. Jeez. That's awesome, man. Wow. You know, when you catch a fish like that, and everyone's like, oh, he's great eating, you shoot triple tail, it's amazing. But you know, I kind of look at it as a special occasion, so we let this one go so the next guy can catch him. That's pretty cool for you, man. Yeah, it was cool. So we go back offshore. He's supposed to be taking me fishing, yet he's caught all the fish. He's grabbing a rod. Yeah. I saw the fish busted, couldn't resist, had to grab the spoon. <laughs> so I used to tarpon fish and I bowed to a cuda when he jumped. <laughs> I saw that. The consummate professional. Got a nice cuda. Yeah, I haven't caught one in a while because I don't get to fish much, so it was great. Nice log, Ozzy. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, good job, man. The bike kind of slowed down a little bit. And I've caught plenty of bias on rod and reel. I didn't really want to mess with it on the rod and reel, but I did want to try the hand line. All right, I'll drop this. You ready? Yep. And so, you know, hooked up a nice ladyfish, dropped it down, and to my surprise, as soon as I went down there, it came tight. It, all right. Here we go, please. Come on, Ozzy, you got it. Look how easy it is. You got him coming, Ozzy. I remember counting going, you know, like five, four, three, two, one. He had this fish up to the surface in about 15 seconds. I'm assuming it's gonna be a small Goliath pooper. Ozzy, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh my God! God! <laughs> All of a sudden, I look down, I see about a 17 pound gag group, and he swings this thing in the boat. It was like we hit the jackpot. Woo! This is better than a Goliath. Now that's a gag grouper. How big is that gag grouper? What, about 17 pounds. Dude, that's how you do it, man. That is awesome. I was actually speechless when it came up. It was a total shocker. I thought the fish was going to be like five pounds when I brought it in. And one of the biggest gags I've caught offshore here in a long time. That's awesome, Ozzy. Congratulations. I think you guys are going to be eating really, really well. Hi, guys.
guys. How you doing? How are you? Doc Ford's had invited us to come by to serve us dinner, so Ozzy and I went to Doc Ford's right off the premises of South Seas Island Resort. We had another bro date. <laughs> went to Doc Ford's. I'm just going to let you know about tonight's delicious dinner special. It's going to be a piece of freshly grilled triple tail soup. Bingo. Bingo. That sounds perfect. I'm in. I'll take the that. I released a triple tail that day, yet I had triple tail for dinner, and I gotta tell you, it was amazing. What they say about it is correct. It's really good. I love triple tail. I had the seafood paella. Excellent. It was fabulous. They did a great job. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks for everything, bro. Thank you. Thanks for two great days, man. You know, normally I'm doing a show with guests that have come in from out of town. So being able to take Ozzy out, just two guys going fishing, it kind of alleviated a little bit of the pressure. Takes me fishing, brings me to a great restaurant. What more could I ask for? Look, got your only gag group on a headline ever. Ever. A lot of laughs. It was a great time. In fact, I got home, I told my wife, I said, that's probably the most fun I've had fishing in a long time. It's nice just to go out and have fun. Just. That kind of reminds me why I got back into it. I really That's appreciate exactly it. it. You got it, man. We had a great couple days fishing together, and I hope to do it again sometime soon. We'll probably catch more fish. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to see more photos, videos, unseen footage, and to interact with us, please check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, you can check us out on my blog at Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you out on the water.